بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته hello my dear grade five students and welcome back to our Almanha Education English channel today our lesson is about the unit seven review and we already have the first part of this lesson it was from the pupils book page eighty seven and today we're gonna continue our second part and that is gonna be from the activity book so please be ready and open your activity book page eighty one page eighty one right. Um, actually, our lesson today is divided into two parts. The first part is a vocabulary one, and it's about nature, uh, barks. And in this part, we already had a lot of information about animals, different animals in the wild. And the second part is about is a grammar part, and this part we're gonna revise the comparison and superlatives. And the second one is a question tag. All right, let's start. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Before we start, as you see. You have six pictures and ten words in the box. You have six pictures and ten words in the box. That means that you have extra four words that you don't need. Look and write. There are four words that you do not need. Let's read the words first. And please repeat after me. Cheetah, cheetah. Clownfish, clownfish. Flamingo, flamingo. Lizard, lizard. Penguin, penguin. Rhino, rhino. Seal, seal. Shark, shark. Snake, snake, tiger, tiger. And the first one, as you see, is done for you. Yeah. Number one is lizard. Lizard, it's one of the reptiles, as we said before. What is the second animal? Yes, think. What is that name? The name of that animal? It's one of the wild animals. And this animal has uh, spots on the fur, black spots. What is this animal's name? It's one of the fastest animal. It's the, actually, it's not the, one of the fastest animals. It's the fastest animal ever. What is that animal name? Good. Cheetah. Cheetah. Excellent. And the second animal also is one of the wild animals. It's really beautiful. And many hunters hunt it for, for its fur because it's really expensive. And if you look at the animal, it's not colored here, but this animal, as we had already in the Bubbles book, it has white and orange fur with black uh, stripes. What is that animal called? Good job, good job. It's tiger, tiger. And what is that bird, number four? What is that bird with a beak, long beak and long neck? And it has long leg or tall legs. What is that called? Excellent, flamingo, flamingo. And number five, all kids like that type of fish and you've already seen that in the Nemo cartoon, everyone saw that. It's called, it has different colors, orange and white color. What is that called? That's why it's called clownfish. Good job, clownfish. The sixth animal, as you see behind the animal, is the sea or water. So this is one of the marine mammals, can live in water. What is that name, uh, animal called? Good, seal, and you can see that animal is a zoo too. Good job, you guys are great. Let's move to the second question. You have to unscramble and write the animal body parts. So, let's flash back the vocabulary that we had. Uh -huh. You can use your Bubbles book, page 87 if you want, or you can look at the first lesson of the unit, unit 7. Yeah, what is the first one? You have to rearrange the letters of the word to have the correct word. Claw, claw, an animal. Number two, what is that? What is that? All the fish have that thing. All the fish have that thing. What is it? Good, fin, fin. What's number three? What's number three? Tail, tail. Does the cheetah have a tail? Yes. Does the lizard have, have a tail? Yes. Does the tiger have a tail? Yes. Most animals have tails. All right? Number four. Think. I'll give you one minute to think. I know you're smart. All the birds, the bird's body is covered with that thing. The bird's wings is covered with that thing and the body. What is that? Good job. It's feathers feathers. This thing 
enables birds to fly. This thing enable, enables birds to fly. What is it? Wing. Wing. Good job. All right. Some mammals have fear, like a tiger have, has a fear, has fear. The cheetah has fear. The bear has fear. The cat has fear. So, number six is fear. Good job. All right. Men, I can see this man with a mustache. I can see this man with a mustache. Also, animals, animals, uh, like the tiger and cheetah, they have mustache and the seal too. What is the name of the mustache of animals? It's like one hair or two hair on top of the mouth. What is that called? Whiskers. Whiskers. Good job. All right. This thing covers the body of fish and reptiles like snakes and lizards. It's round flakes. It's round flakes. What is that called? Scale. Scales. Yes. Scales covers the fish, the body of the fish, and lizards, snakes, and so on. Number nine, what is it? Beak. Beak. Does the tiger have a beak? No, it has a mouth. But birds have beak, like flamingo have beak. Good job. Let's move to uh, activity number 30. And the same, we're still on the same page. Write the adjective in brackets in the correct form, then write answer. So now we're going to start, inshallah, the second part, which is grammar. Before we talked about comparison, we had comparison and superlative. What is the difference? In comparison or comparing adjective, you use uh, the adjective to compare between two persons or two things. So for the monosyllabic adjective or the adjective with one, with one syllable, Short, we call it short adjective. You add er to the end of the adjective, and if you like to write the word then, for example, my brother is taller than me. My brother is taller than me. So we have the adjective tall and we added er. All right? But with the superlative in the short adjective too, or the adjective with one syllable. We add est to the adjective and we use that before the adjective. So that before the adjective and we add est to the end of the adjective. And in superlative, you're not comparing, you don't compare two persons or two things, but you compare more than two persons or two things. All right? So when I say he's the tallest man in the world, he's the tallest man in the world. This is the best company of all companies. This is the best company of all companies. All right? Let's start the activity, and the first one is done for you. And we already explained that before. Which is the oldest? As you see in practice, the, word, uh, the adjective old. And no other uh, zoos is older than this zoo. That means this, is, this, zoo is, uh, this zoo is the oldest. All right? Our no animal is older than this animal in the zoo. That means this is the oldest animal. Which is the oldest animal? That's superlative. We added that before the adjective and is the after the adjective. Which is the oldest animal in the zoo? Alright? Let's answer that question. The oldest animal in the zoo is the rhino. The oldest animal in the zoo is the rhino. So you have to edit or to add to that sentence and use the superlative of the adjective old, the superlative form, to make a correct sentence. Who can do number two? Who can use the adjective or correct the adjective far, fast and use it in the correct form to have a correct question? If the cheetah fast than the tiger, we cannot say if the cheetah fast than because we have then. That means we that we use comparison. We use comparison. All right. So what is the comparison form? The comparative form. What is the comparative form of fast? Is faster. We add e. E, e R faster. Good job. So if the cheetah is the cheetah faster than the tiger, this is a brute form of question. Can you answer that? 
Yes, good job. You can say yes, the cheetah. You cannot say B, you have to say is. The cheetah is faster than the tiger. So here we compare between two animals, the cheetah and the tiger in the adjective fast. Who is faster? Number three. How how we say how tall, we don't say how tall or how tall is how tall is the giraffe? How long is the river? How fast is the runner? And so on. Alright? So we just use the base form of the adjective. How tall is the giraffe? Do you remember that? Yes. Good job. The giraffe is five meters long. The giraffe is five meters long. Which is number four, which is heavy. Can we say which is heavier animal? No, because we don't have two parts or two things or two animals that we compare, but we uh, talk about one animal of a whole, of the whole animals in the world. So that's superlative. We're comparing more than two, all right? Which is the uh, heaviest? And as you notice here, before we add EST, we changed the Y into I. We change the, the adjective that end in Y. You have to change the Y into I and then add ST. So, which is the heaviest animal in the world? Do you have an answer? Yes, good job. Here we say the African elephant B, heavy. If we want to use a correct sentence, we have to use a correct form of the verb B. So, we say the African elephant, the African elephant is heavy. No, is the heaviest animal. Is the heaviest animal. Good job, you guys are great. Let's move on to the last activity, which is matching. And we explained that before in detail. We explained that in detail. Um, it's about question tag. And guys, as I told you before, we use a question tag for some reasons. The first one is we assure the piece of, of information. Is we assure the piece of information. All right or emphasize all right number one is done for you so usually the question tag comes at the end of a sentence usually the, the the question tag comes at the end of the sentence let's read the first one which is done for you the tiger is swimming the tiger is swimming I want to emphasize that piece of information or I'm asking do you agree with me do you agree with me that that's the meaning of the question tag the tiger is swimming, so we use, we have here the verb to be is, which is the main verb of the sentence. We switch it with the subject, so we say, isn't it? And if the verb to be is affirmative, we use a negative form. So is become isn't, are become aren't, and vice versa. So if it's a negative form, if the sentence was the tiger isn't, we make it is. So instead of affirmative form, of is we use isn't and if it if it's isn't we make it is all right so the tiger is swimming the question tag is isn't it if anyone ask ask me or any one of you ask me can we say isn't the tiger because it here means the tiger no you cannot use nouns you cannot you cannot use nouns or name in the question tag so you have to substitute it with subject pronoun you have to sub substitute the names with subject pronoun so instead of the tiger we use it the tiger is swimming isn't it? The tiger is swimming, isn't it? Number two, you're going to the zoo. You're going to the zoo. Alright, what the question tag? Here we have the verb that we are, and it's the affirmative form, so we'll make it negative form. We'll say, good job. Aren't you? Excellent, guys. Aren't you? Number three, they didn't see the rhino. They didn't see the rhino. What is the herbing verb here? What is the herbing verb here? Here, the herbing verb is in the negative form, which is didn't. So, we erase not, and we just use did, and switch it with they. So, we say, did they, did they, good job, guys. All right, and we come to the last one. The lizard wasn't eating the mouse. The lizard wasn't eating the mouse. What, what is the herbing verb here? What is the verb here? Wasn't, wasn't, and this is a negative form. So, we make it affirmative. So, we erase not, and switch was with the lizard, but instead of the lizard, we... Substituted with um, a pronoun, a subject pronoun. All right. So the lizard wasn't in the mouth. We say wasn't he? No, the lizard is an animal. So was was it? Was it? Good job. Was it? All right. Now we came to our to the end of our of our lesson. I hope you enjoyed it. And by the end of of this lesson, 
All right. Um, you should you should have known, or you should have enough information about animals, and you can talk about animals and their body parts. Also, you can use comparative uh, comparatives and superlatives in sentences and questions. Also, I, I hope you can use question ten. Thank you for watching me. Um, I'm waiting for your comments and your message and please messages and please check your your share edu platform for homeworks. Thank you so much. Until we meet again, goodbye.